Here you can see I've already navigated back to the experiments page for our Titanic experiments, and they've all run successfully. And as you'll notice over here, there's a table section, and this is pretty neat. You can actually uh, set what columns you want to show in this table here so that you can easily compare different aspects of your experiment runs with each other. So if you look here, I already selected a learning rate and the test accuracy out of those options. The learning rate is important because if you remember, we had different values for that for XGBoost algorithms. So I definitely want to see which is which when comparing them out here. And then the test accuracy is just the accuracy the model had in predicting the test data. So that's a pretty good measure of how the model might perform in the real world. So um, XGBoost seemed to do relatively well having the top two spots here and support vector machine kind of led behind in the pack here. So if you were to go forward with this project, you probably rule out support vector machines as an option and prefer to go with something like XGBoost. And then if we click on an example here, you can still see all the parameters we had set for each run, along with a lot of additional information about how the run went. So for example, you can see here in the feature importance um, that sex was a big indicator of whether someone would survive or not on the Titanic, whereas age, which I thought would be pretty important, did not seem to have that big of an influence, which was interesting. And then down here, you can see the log output, which can be useful for certain projects. And then you have artifacts here, which are basically saved objects from your run. So in this case, we have a saved version of the model we trained using the Titanic dataset information. So that wraps up my Converge demo. In this demo, we covered how to train models based on a data set, serve a model as an endpoint, and use some key features of the Converge IO platform. For more information, please reach out to the Converge team or Mark 3 Systems. Thanks.